Apple Music announces spatial audio with Dolby Atmos will bring lossless audio to its entire catalog. The next generation of sound on Apple Music is coming to subscribers June 2021 at no additional cost. Now that is huge. Other streaming platforms are offering the same features, but at a premium cost. Tidal has been offering Dolby Ammo spatial audio with hi-fi lossless audio for a while now, but at double the price. You got Amazon HD with lossless audio and Spotify hi-fi coming out probably at a premium cost as well. Apple announces all that at no additional cost. So whatever you're paying for your Apple Music subscription right now, you don't have to pay anything more for Dolby Atmos, Spatial Audio, and Lossless Audio. But that's not what this video is about. This video is sort of from a perspective of a producer and mixing engineer, and just wanna get your sort of, for you to think about in the back of your head what this means for the future of music. So anytime Apple adds a new feature to whatever they're doing, the whole industry adjusts and sort of solidifies whatever it is in that industry. So this got me thinking, is the future of music Dolby Atmos sound that happens all around you? Now we may be in the time where we're transitioning from stereo to spatial audio or 360 audio, and that's gonna add an entire new layer in workflow for us producers and engineers, depending on how far we wanna push our music and what experience we wanna to provide to our listeners. This sort of reminds me of the time when we went from black and white TV to color to 3D. Now we're going from mono to stereo to 3D audio, I'm gonna call it, spatial audio, Dolby Atmos, surround sound audio. So as a producer, as a music maker, you're gonna to have to think for your future releases, am I going to implement Dolby Atmos and give my listeners an entirely new experience or is Dolby Atmos gonna become a new standard in the music industry? Now, stereo is not gonna go anywhere, but because Apple is giving this to so many people, people are gonna to wanna to experience it, and us as music makers are gonna to wanna to push the boundaries with how sound can be heard. And I think a lot of people will start to mix and record for Dolby Atmos. So you're probably wondering, how does this work for the current catalog of music that you have online right now and for your future ones as well? For everyone who's been uploading to all these streaming platforms in a lossless WAV file, your songs will automatically be streamed in a lossless format. So anything you uploaded to your distribution services in a WAV file, you're good to go. Your file will be streamed in lossless uh, quality once that is enabled in June 2021. Now, on that front, you don't have to do anything. You can continue your workflow, upload those WAV files, and get your songs streamed in the highest quality possible, lossless audio. If you've been uploading uh, MP3 versions of your songs, you should probably stop that and give the listener the best listening experience with your lossless files. So start to export in waves. I'm pretty sure most of you already do that. You don't upload the MP3. But if you're thinking about, is your stereo files gonna be converted to Dolby Atmos for that spatial audio experience? Probably not likely. You're gonna need to upload a compatible Dolby Atmos file. There's not gonna be any like neural sort of conversion happening automatically in the background. You will have to upload a mixed Dolby Atmos file for it to take advantage of that. Now songs in Apple Music will have the tag of Dolby Atmos if it's compatible, and will also have a tag of lossless audio as well. Is the future of music Dolby Atmos 360 audio, is it going to become a norm as is stereo is today? Just like mono has sort of been shifted out, now stereo is like a thing. Now we're going to 360. Literally sound can come from you from all angles, from the bottom, from the top, from the or top, bottom, side to side. Definitely a very interesting listening experience if you've ever experienced it yourself. Really works well for live experiences. If you mix like the crowd behind you, you really feel immersed in, in that arena with the artist. But if you did want to start learning how to mix in Dolby Atmos in Logic or any DAW, I haven't done it myself yet, so this will be new for me as well. There is a plugin by Dolby Atmos called the Dolby Atmos Music Panner, which will allow you to position your sounds in that 360 environment in Logic so that you can pan them properly uh, for Dolby Atmos and take advantage of that spatial audio that Apple is offering in Apple Music. Uh, just 
It's another whole entire workflow that I have to learn myself and probably you will want to look into that as well if this is indeed the future of music and you want to sort of be there. You don't want to be stuck releasing mono music in an era of stereo and you don't want to be releasing stereo music in an era of Dolby Atmos just because the experience is completely different. I may be speaking way, way, way too soon, but just something to think about. Let me know what you think down below. Are we moving from stereo to 360 audio? Maybe.